بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایڈوانسڈ مائکرو اکنامکس لیکچر تھری ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ ڈائیورسیفیکیشن اینڈ ریسک سپریڈنگ لیٹ سی واٹ از ڈائیورسیفیکیشن ڈائیورسیفیکیشن از ایکچولی دا ورڈ وچ از ڈرائیو فرام ڈائیورسیفائی ڈائیورسیفائی مین مسٹ بی ڈفرینٹ ڈفرینٹ ڈائیورسیفائی and what is diversification into the money market what is the meaning of diversification into the money market let's first see the definition diversification is a risk management strategy that mixes a wide variety of investments within a portfolio what is portfolio let's uh, you just see portfolio as like the basket when you go to a supermarket or a superstore and you carry the basket and you fill the basket with different items and uh, similarly when you fill the basket with different items if a consumer or an investor fulfill the basket with different investments or a variety of investments when The investor fulfill its basket with a variety of investment. This diversification is actually risk management strategy. Risk management strategy and our diversified portfolio contains a mix of distinct asset types and investment vehicles in our attempt at limiting exposure to any single asset or a risk. It's mean that its uh, portfolio is light up basket and which is having different types of assets which is consumer or the investor have just to minimize the risk. It is just uh, uh, actually diversification is just like that consumer is having a basket in which the investor will fulfill the basket with different type of assets so that diversify the investor can diversify its profit and the risk can be minimized next we see the rational behind this technique is that a portfolio constructed of different kinds of assets will on average yield higher long term returns and lower the risk of any individual holding or security is mean that when you fulfill your basket with uh, diversify assets it means that when you have different assets in your baskets you have the chance to lower the risk and increasing the profit from this portfolio or from this basket next one is basics of diversification and what are the basics of diversification Actually, diversification strives to smooth out unsystematic risk events in a portfolio. So, the positive performance of some investment neutralizes the negative performance of another and the benefit of this diversification hold only if the securities in portfolio are not perfectly correlated. That is, they respond differently, often in opposing ways. to market influences and uh, what is the basic of diversification it means that investment investments neutralize and negative negative performance of the investor and this benefit actually diversify the securities into a portfolio and this portfolio having the negative impact and uh, if we see studies and mathematical models have shown that maintaining a well diversified portfolio of 25 to 30 stocks yield the most cost effective level of risk reduction it's mean that when you have different assets in your portfolio basket you are going to have less chance of risk and more utility are the student or the investor is not satisfied with a specific product then the student will have to follow the product which is having the less risk next one 
is basics of diversification actually diversification uh, is uh, smooth out uh, unsystematic risk events in a portfolio so the positive hummus of others and the benefits of diversification hold only if the consumer securities in the portfolio are not perfectly collated it means that the um, yeah, this attitude of the investor will impact on the market equilibrium and uh, studies and mathematical models have shown that maintaining a well diversified portfolio of uh, what is well diversified portfolio mean it is having 25 to 30 stock yields and uh, these 25 and uh, these 25 25 to 30 stocks this 25 to 30 stocks actually presents actually presents portfolio and this portfolio is having the lesser chance of risk let's see what are the keys to understand first you see first one diversification is a strategy that mixes a wide variety of investment within a portfolio in it it's mean that you have to put different types of uh, assets into your portfolio just for the purpose to minimize your loss next one is portfolio portfolio holding can be delivered across asset cl asset classes and within classes and also geographically by investing in both domestic and foreign markets it mean that you are as i give the example of your basket when you go to a supermarket you fulfill the basket within with the different communities but as an investor you fulfill your portfolio with different type of assets and these assets can be within the country or outside of the country I mean it can be domestic or from the domestic or from the foreign market next one is diversification actually diversification limit limits portfolio risk but can also mitigate performance at least in short term it means that portfolio however minimize the risk but it can increase the performance or show the high rate of performance into the period that is short run let's discuss what are the pros and cons of diversification first one reduce portfolio risk mean diversification when you have different type of uh, diversified assets into your bag it show reduce portfolio risk second is hedges against market rule volatility what is hedges against market volatility mean that second one is hedges hedges is actually uh, market stability so uh, how we can avail hedges actually present to the procedure or uh, it show how we can avail the economic stability hedges actually show economic stability against market volatility volatility mean market is going on to change and uh, uh, it's mean uh, third one that uh, its offer offers and uh, what are the offers mean offers high turns long term it's mean that in the long term you have the chances of low risk and more profit what are the cons cons first one is limits first one is limits gains short term limits gains short term that is limits gain to short term and second one is time consuming to manage that uh, is the time taking procedure for waiting uh, uh, waiting the results again, uh, uh, about the portfolio you have and third one is incurs more transaction fees and commissions I mean all this procedure of investing into different portfolios is having two types 
of uh, expenditures that is transaction fees and commissions next one yeah uh, we see i just read out uh, so the concept will be more clear for all of you that what is the real example of diversification you just read say in an investor who want to uh, do investment and want to avoid from the risk he can purchase different types of portfolios for example uh, portfolio composed of japanese equities australian bonds and cotton futures and uh, you see that a consumer purchase different stocks into his market i shares msci japan etc and uh, when god australian government bond index that is represented by etf and the i bond uh, bloomberg cotton sun index total return etn for example and these different types of uh, assets just show that consumer is in the struggle to have minimum profit and maximum minimum loss a minimum loss and maximum profit just to mean the accurate accurate or right combination of different assets next one is the topic that is risk spreading you see risk spreading is actually the form of risk management and uh, imagine that an oil super tanker has to ensure and the owner approaches one insurer if the event of the tanker being skip watch the damage caused by the resulting oil spell would be catastrophic both of the environment and the insurance company which would have to pay for the damage it's mean that what's the risk spreading show that that you have to invest in such kind of portfolio that you have low risk and uh, low low that you have low risk insurance that it means you have low risk and you want to maximize your profit in this instance the insurance company does not benefit from the law of large numbers it is not insuring thousands of such tankers but uh, it is going to increase the benefit by just pushing different type of values into your basket for avoiding the risk into the long run let's see the example of risk spreading spread the risk of the venture among multiple sub insurance insurance it's mean that we can take the example that logical is similar to participating in an office super bowl lottery and most people are willing to risk and the loss of five dollar and ten dollar but every few would participate if the government required bid were hundred dollars this was major insurance insurance such as lloyds of london has hundreds of syndicates hundreds of syndicates O O W H who take a small portion of big risk. It means that risk spreading show that uh, investor have to purchase that uh, uh, products or that uh, assets which are having low risk and risk can be spread into different assets just for the purpose of availing, availing something new. We are in the search to avail something new. hope you have liked this video and if you have any conf confusion please discuss in the comment bar i will answer all the questions you have as soon as possible allow me to see you in the lect next lecture